Let's just get started. Uh, thanks, everyone. Um, uh, once again, welcome to the webinar um, on automated release testing and validation of cloud applications. Um, this is a, a, a personally really interesting topic for me because I personally have come over from the application side and now I'm working uh, you know, for, a, for a company that does testing on these applications. So it's a way of, in, of bringing together different aspects of uh, applications and infrastructure uh, and cloud tester as uh, testing as a service, which tests uh, cloud applications, um, release updates and validation, et cetera, for HCM cloud, payroll, ERP cloud, and a range of other uh, cloud and on-premise applications and integrations. So uh, it's a comprehensive uh, approach uh, and I'm really excited to be able to um, uh, share this information uh, with everyone today. Um, just as an introduction, uh, I'm going to switch screens here and talk about um, our um, uh, webinar series. Um, and um, the webinar series that uh, today's webinar is part of a week-long uh, series of webinars on various topics, what we call the Solutions Showcase, uh, Oracle Cloud Platform Solutions Showcase webinar series. It's a week of thought leadership uh, around various topics such as uh, application testing, which we're going to talk about today. Uh, Monday, we talked about digital supply chain uh, in manufacturing. Uh, yesterday, we talked about automated integration uh, of applications. Both of those are on our YouTube page, by the way. So if you click on and search on Sonera Technologies on YouTube, uh, you'll be able to see um, a replays of those and we'll be um, sending out uh, emails to that effect as well. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about chatbots and the day after that we'll be talking about lift and shift. Uh, so our, our idea is that you know while everybody talks about a journey to the cloud, uh, for us cloud is as much of a puzzle as it is a journey, um, especially if you're uh, uh, an end user working in an enterprise, whether it's a medium-sized company or a large company, there's so much issues around cloud, there's so many different options, everybody has a different kind of story, um, it, it causes a lot of uh, uh, understandable kind of confusion uh, and then how does it relate to me how does it relate to the applications that I'm running uh, and how do I get onto the cloud so what we try to do is we're helping um, uh, kind of complete the journey to the cloud puzzle uh, for people who want to talk about um, these various types of solutions um, and as I mentioned uh, earlier um, we have this whole series of, of, uh, of webinars that we're doing on Monday we did on supply chain yesterday was automated today uh, is uh, talk about um, application testing, uh, cloud application testing. Tomorrow is a really exciting day. Um, uh, if you go to uh, scenaratech.com slash events, you'll learn about uh, demyst demystifying artificial intelligence and chatbots, um, which are a great way of organizations that are reinvent reinventing themselves in terms of the support uh, function, um, a call center function, marketing function, a whole range of things, even banking, et cetera. And then finally on Friday, we'll be talking about lift and shift uh, workloads to Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Um, so let me kind of introduce quickly uh, Soneratech. Uh, Soneratech is a, um, a born in the cloud company. Uh, we uh, enable organizations to innovate uh, and restructure and reinvent uh, their organizations to take advantage of the new cloud environment. Uh, we focus on accelerating digital transformation with the help of pre-built solutions like we're going to be talking about today uh, that helps uh, transform your business and help you on your journey to the cloud. Uh, we do this by leveraging a three, uh, what we call a three switch framework. Uh, first is automation, automation and IT and automation in terms of your business processes, automation in terms of uh, a range of functionality within your company. Uh, the second part is we enable cloud migration. Uh, so along with automation, um, we uh, migrate uh, applications to the cloud, whether it's existing on-premise applications that we uh, put onto a cloud infrastructure or born in the cloud applications such as HCM cloud or, or, or ERP cloud. Uh, and then we help you um, do a range of things around those uh, things. And then most importantly, how do you integrate on-premise applications with the born in the cloud applications to create hybrid environments? How do you handle uh, you know, everything from infrastructure all the way to the application stack? And then finally, once you're on the cloud, how do you drive digital innovation? How do you, how do you uh, transform your company to take advantage of these new technologies and basically prepare yourself for success in the 21st century? Um, and that is through uh, innovation and that is through digital transformation in the cloud. So all of the solutions uh, that we're gonna talk about in these series of webinars are born in the cloud um, uh, types of solutions. And uh, today we're gonna be talking about uh, application testing. So, um, 
Uh, as an introduction to that, uh, HCM Cloud um, um, basically will release uh, uh, as in a continuous uh, release process. And continuous release creates continuous uh, testing pressures for all organizations. Uh, payroll is released once every month, HCM Cloud and ERP Cloud once every quarter. All of these require continuous testing. So this continuous release schedule puts an incredible amount of pressure on your HR staff, your IT administrators, um, your testing personnel, and other employees whose regular work is disrupted by this continuous testing. A cloud tester testing as a service is a comprehensive platform that automates its function automates functional regression and integration uh, testing, uh, mobile testing and payroll validation for the entire suite of Oracle Cloud applications. Um, and in today's webinar, uh, which you'll cover uh, along with the listing here is, how can you reduce your testing times as much as 50 to 75%? Um, how do you increase your accuracy of your test results? How to improve the quality of a rollout so you're fully confident that there are no errors when you finally go live with your new release? Um, how do you simplify your cloud environment, lower your total cost of ownership? Uh, and then we're going to be talking about a cloud success story. Um, Vertex um, is um, on the line with us, and they'll be talking about how uh, they um, uh, were able to take their uh, HCM cloud environment, how they were doing manual testing previously, and how automation has helped them um, uh, uh, gain a lot of benefits. So um, before we um, kind of go into our first speaker, I want to introduce our speakers. And uh, so you see on the screen here, um, the three participants. Um, uh, Srikanth Bakala is a chief architect of Cloud Tester. He's part of the Sonaratech team, he's one of Sonaratech uh, you know, founders. Uh, Srikanth, how are you? Good morning. Hey, good morning, Paul. Uh, great, thank you for joining us. Um, Dallas Scott is uh, um, from Vertex. Uh, he is a supervisor of applications and he'll be talking about how um, uh, automation is helping with his uh, HCM Cloud application. Hi, Dallas, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, and thank you for taking time. I know you had a, 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 you know, other, other obligations today and, and you've uh, stepped away to, to participate with this. I really do appreciate that. And finally, uh, a real special guest is John Cafola, Vice President of HCM COE, Center of Excellence at Oracle. Hello, John, good morning. Good morning, Sal. Great, Bye. thank you for thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. Uh, you've been a real champion for uh, for Sonaratech and Cloud Tester, and and really looking forward to um, uh, hearing your uh, impressions uh, and uh, and your experience. So what we'll do here um, is uh, you know since we're uh, talking to John here, we're going to kind of uh, switch to uh, 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 okay, introduce the speakers, uh, and then here's a, a broadly speaking what we're going to be covering. We'll have some quick introductions. We'll talk about um, Oracle HCM and the Cloud COE with uh, with John. Um, and Dallas will share his experience uh, with with Vertex, as we talked about. And then we'll go um, deep dive a little bit into the architecture uh, of uh, of, uh, of Cloud Tester, um, and then some of the challenges that it addresses. What are the benefits of automation? And then finally, we'll have a demo, a live demo, and um, uh, a question and answer. Um, so let me start with uh, you, John. Um, uh, thank you again for coming. You'll be talking about kind of continuous delivery model and, and what are some of the new roles and responsibilities uh, that customers have. But maybe we can start, John. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What is your role at Oracle? What is the COE and how does it help customers? Sure. Um, I'm long-term service with Oracle. Uh, I'm head up the center of excellence within the HCM product development team. Um, um, as we move to the cloud, and I like that phrase, born in the cloud, um, when we started with the, what were the Fusion products originally, uh, and the Fusion product line, I was responsible for the architecture and development, and as we moved into the cloud, the engagement with customers and the development of the service delivery model uh, for the HCM cloud, and today uh, I'm part of product development still, but we have this center of excellence function, which is really geared towards experience, leveraging experience, supporting our customers, supporting our partners in what is what we believe is best practice for not only on the journey to the cloud, but very much for living in the cloud. And I think as we get into continuous delivery, that's really where we're, we're spending a lot of time now with what does it take to be successful living in the cloud? Um, so that's very much. 
And and HCM was uh, uh, you know early out of the gate uh, for Oracle in terms of the kind of first full suite of of, of products. So uh, you know you guys have been um, uh, working on this long. The product has matured. Um, it's it's improved incredibly. What are some of the changes that you've seen you know since the release of HCM uh, Cloud and and the reaching of the current maturity stage? What uh, what are some of the changes and improvements that have been going on in HCM? Well, I, I think as you look at the maturity of the products, what you're seeing is that the continuous development that's taken place over the years, um, we, we were very much moving from a very early stage uh, delivery where completely new product line, completely new architecture delivered in a cloud model, developing the service and seven, eight years ago, when we started, um, everything was brand new. Over those years, there's been a lot of maturity in what I would call the core products and the core services, so that we, we're mature products with our core modules, HR, payroll, benefits, um, talent products have been out for a long time now. And we've seen that year on year, improvement not only in the, the functionality that's there but in a real understanding of what it takes to live with those products in the cloud and as we continue to deliver innovations there we're seeing the the bulk of capability is established and improvements in those areas tend to be incremental improvements whereas i think what we're seeing now is we're seeing new modules and new capabilities coming on board and really the, the the capabilities there for innovation are really opening up into how do you create the space within an operational model for customers to really take advantage of the innovation that's getting delivered and i think we're going to talk a little bit about that with the challenges of continuous delivery and i, I think continuity is very much a, a um, at, at a lot of people's, uh, at the front of a lot of people's thinking. As this change comes at me, and you introduced it as you were talking about it, the, the challenges of staying on top of change. And I think that continuous delivery, it's important to, to really get a, a baseline on this. But I think that when we talk about continuous delivery, what we're talking about is delivering new features on a predictable timeline and schedule so that as a customer or consumer of the service, you know what's going to be delivered and when, and that you're able to prepare in advance for that. Um, in addition to new features, there's a second set of things, which are really delivery of fixes and improvements on a predictable timeline and schedule. And so when we talk about our quarterly updates, we're talking about significant new capabilities, for example, recruiting or help desk or the new speed user experience that are coming through on the HCM cloud. And then the monthly updates where we deliver fixes and improvements for functionality that's already been there. And over the years, we've been stabilizing on those approaches and really getting into the groove of continuous delivery. Right. And what we're looking at now is how do we help customers keep up with change and really understand what their responsibilities are uh, for staying up with continuity? So yes, these changes are coming. How do you keep moving forward? And how do you look at what's new and really plan for adoption? Right. But I think what I see in it, and a, a point I'd make from the customer roles and responsibilities, I think there are two key roles in here. One is the, the one that's fundamentally about continuity. Business is up and running, I've gone live, I've got my operations working. How do I keep them running as these changes are applied to my system? And we talk a lot about regression testing or keeping up with the information that's delivered and really planning to keep continuity going. That, that's one, one function or responsibility that needs to be looked at, maintaining continuity. And I think that there's a separate function in there that's about innovation and planning for adopting new capabilities. 
And what we see a lot of customers deal with is sometimes those get mixed up. And you think, well, if there's a change there, I've got to consume it. One of the most important things is really to establish, no, just because there's a new feature there, it doesn't mean you have to consume it immediately. What you have to do is to plan for it and be prepared and having good advice to really identify, help you identify what's really changed and what do I really need to focus on right now in order to maintain continuity? That's one function. And how do I look at new functionality and plan for it in the future? Is It's different. And it's really just helping people uh, understand that you, in uh, uh, the continuous model, your primary focus is on continuity in order to be able to keep the business running and not to get out of step with the changes that are coming. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does make sense. And then the, 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 the choices of not uh, having to choose every feature, is that, that's the options that you have of installing a patch or not installing a patch. And therefore, it's really important what the patches future, what the features the patches bring, right? So I know, for example, you know, Sonaratech, you know, having uh, being able to uh, have access to the applications and stuff, um, or, or any other type of partner who's helping you, uh, understanding what the the features of the new patches and whether you want them or not, is where is where the decision making comes in, right? And then having a partner to help you through that process is really important. Absolutely, and and I, I think that what we're seeing throughout and what we recommend from the Center of Excellence is it's best practice to look at the information that's there. Uh, we publish the information about changes ahead of time. In many cases, uh, those changes are being driven by customers. I think we're currently estimating somewhere between 80 and 90% of the changes we deliver now are being driven by our customers. Um, and so the information is out there. And staying ahead of it is something everybody needs to step up to. But in, in many cases, it's more efficient to work with a partner to say, help us, advise us, guide us, than it is to do it yourself. I think this is one of the things we're looking at with, with Samaritech uh, and with customers, is really to say, what's the best way for you to keep up with this and the most efficient way to manage these activities and look at the opportunity space? Right. So good. So we have a couple of questions, um, you know, before we move on. So let me kind of ask them. Uh, some of them I'm not fully clear on, so we might have to get some clarity. Um, so one question is, can you test personalizations like hidden components, uh, added text on page, help text? Uh, what about integrations with HCM extract? Um, okay, so I, you can test everything that you do. So if you've done it, it, it effectively, if you've uh, deployed a personalization and it's on the system, then you can test it. Mm -hmm. So whatever a user does in the system, whatever you've configured to work in the system, um, whether it's a configuration in data, so I have to find a type of element or a process rule, or I have to find a personalization to show or hide, then my tests can be designed for that. And then the mechanism for it, I leave it to you guys to talk about the how, but definitely you can do that. Great, excellent. So there's some other questions that are in the chat window, John. I'll let you kind of peruse those and answer them. Uh, and we can move on to uh, talking to, to Dallas. Um, thank you very much for setting the stage. I think that was uh, very um, helpful. And uh, you know the people who are currently using HCM Cloud or implementing HCM Cloud, I think have a, have a better understanding of the process they have to go through. But feel free to get onto the chat, uh, people. If you wanna talk to John directly, go ahead and uh, send him a text. Uh, I'm sure he'll be happy to answer. So let's move on here to talk to uh, uh, Dallas Scott, um, working for Vertex. Uh, Dallas, uh, hi, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, great. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about, um, you know, take a few minutes to t uh, tell us a little bit about um, Vertex uh, and what the company does and, um, and your role there? Sure. Uh, Vertex Inc. is a uh, leading tax software company for uh, tax professionals, especially when it deals with transactional tax or uh, value-added tax. Uh, we are an uh, international company, uh, company. We have presence in Europe. 
Brazil, and we're continuing to expand different you know areas of the world. Mm -hmm. For my responsibilities, it's basically I manage all the uh, business applications internally, as well as supporting other areas such as our product development, our DevOps, our testing, and uh, Vertex Consulting, or anybody else that needs uh, technical support. Okay, great. Um, and I know, I know that um, you know Oracle works closely with uh, Vertex as well. Uh, let's see why. Uh, okay, resume share. I think I got. I think I pushed the wrong button here, my bad. Uh, okay, great. So I'm gonna flip back to our presentation here and hoping, uh, okay, great. Um, so thank you for the, that for the background. Uh, and um, tell us a little bit about uh, your Oracle uh, HCM um, application. What are you guys running um, and uh, your utilization? Sure, so for uh, specifically related to Oracle HCM, we have the global HR and the talent management modules and they're all in the cloud. Uh, we are a partner with Oracle, and we do uh, have multiple Oracle uh, products that we are that we uh, use to support our company. And um, but HCM right was uh, initially one of the drivers for us looking at uh, any type of company that would help us automate our testing. Okay, so. great. Uh, and um, uh, and then using global HR and, and talent management. So let's kind of dive right into this manual testing versus automation. Uh, can you kind of give us a you know previous state, you know current state, what you guys went through to transition from one manual to an automated environment? Kind of give us a little rundown. Sure. So just probably like a lot of companies are still set up. We are um, very dependent on. Uh, our resources, our internal resources that are busy doing other types of work, but to in order to release things straight out to the business, you need to actually test all the changes, upgrades, uh, patches, anything of that nature. And it becomes very time consuming, not only for the people who are supporting the technical side, but then we release it to a small group of business people that have to also pre-screen everything and maybe find errors that we didn't find, make sure they're all fixed, and then finally we get to release that out to the company. And with that type of uh, scenario with a, you know, we're a mid-sized company, I would say, that it becomes extremely time consuming with us trying to uh, hit all those uh, different types of goals and, and things of that nature in order to get things out to the company in time. And it also causes us to definitely delay and stretch out all our different types of upgrades and, and everything like that. So right. when it came to Oracle HCM going to the cloud, it, it time constraints became even more, um, even tighter at that point. And basic reason was because as I mentioned, you do have releases that Oracle will put out automatically. And on top of that, they do have patches that they uh, do even more frequently. So in order to stay up, you'd have to have a, a, a you know, almost a full-time person turning around and staying on top of any type of change that's being released, any type of patches being done, and exactly analyzing the patching or upgrades and figuring out exactly what the best path for testing was. So. We talking to uh, Scenario Tech, we felt they were a great fit for us to help us, you know, reduce any type of errors on the new features that we're testing that we, you know, hopefully did not skip or miss. Mm -hmm. And again, multiple groups were and the resources and time. And and consistency as well, because things we have a checklist, but you know, we aren't an official testing group. So you are gonna miss things, you're not gonna be as thorough every single time. When you right. go through and do yeah, you, you mentioned that you guys are a medium sized company, and of course, everybody in, a, in, in, in that size company is wearing multiple hats, right? So, if you were a large company like GE or something, you probably have a testing division and somebody else worries about it. But in this particular case, uh, the IT manager and the head of business, uh, line of business, everybody has to worry about it because that it, everybody's kind of tied up in it, right? Would you say that's, that's the case for, for the size of company you're at? Yeah, exactly. And on, and on top of that, just like every other company, we do a lot of customization. So you have not only the worry about the actual product and the base of the product and how it operates, but then if you made any changes yourself, you have to remember to incorporate them into any of, any of the changes that are, you know, they may be impacted with other things coming down the road that you didn't realize. Right, right. Well, great. So you guys uh, implemented Cloud Tester. You looked at, uh, you know, uh, automation and you're working with Sonera. Can you share a little bit about uh, kind of your experience, the benefits you've seen, and then the benefits of working with a company like Sonera Tech? Sure. So what, was, uh, what we liked was how their expertise and um, the type of setup they or partnership they had with Oracle where they could get the releases earlier than uh, most companies do. 
and do thorough testing and again include anything that we may have customized maybe integrations at that point and and come back to us with uh you know quickly and turn around any type of impact analysis and allow us to review it and then go ahead and, and either make changes or talk to them directly about how they could support it um, they're very responsive every time we we've uh, worked with scenario tech they've been willing to do things if we didn't have quite have a, a a actual thing to test something that we customized they were willing to work with us to build it and make it part of our normal process so they've become really we've depended on scenario tech a lot to help us through this types of scenarios and our we've been uh, extremely happy we haven't hit a time where we've had a release come out through Oracle that has caused a impact to the business without us actually knowing and having it ready before the actual release came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. And it, and it seems like you've uh, built this kind of trust, trust relationship as well with, uh, with Synertech. I mean, they, they seem to know the application, they know testing. Uh, and uh, did you look at a range of other kind of testing things or uh, was, was this the one that kind of struck out at you because of, of its uh, kind of market presence and success and stuff? Do you remember uh, that? Actually, yeah. Remember that? yeah, we actually went through and tried to discuss, you know, these type of changes and what other companies supported, but Scenario Tech kind of hit the sweet spot, at least for Vertex, with the type of products we used. And, you know, again, having that large Oracle presence, they seem to have a, a, a strong hold on or, and a knowledge about everything that's Oracle. And, we, you know, we're expanding our usage of Scenario Tech itself to actually handle our largest uh, e-business suite environment. So we're starting to expand our usage of them. And, again, the, the – uh, how quickly they can respond and how flexible they are with putting in integrations and, and customizations and being able to test end to end uh, was, a, was a big sale for us. Excellent. Well, great. Well, thank you so much, Dallas. Um, if you're sticking around uh, and you have access to the chat window, there's some questions coming up from there. Feel free to jump in there if you have time to do some answers. And, sure. and I promised uh, Srikanth I'd give him 30 minutes. And so I think uh, we're at 29 minutes, Srikant. So apologize for that. Uh, so let me hand it over to you, Srikant. Um, you'll be talking about um, accelerating cloud applications and testing with Cloud Tester. You're obviously one of the chief architect. So why don't you take it away? Um, go ahead. Sure. Thank you, Sal. Uh, Sal, uh, are we going to give five or ten minutes for the Q and A? Uh, we could give, uh, you know, we can give 10 minutes. We can go a little bit over uh, if you want, but, um, you know, and sure. a lot of people are asking questions on the chat as well. So I think if we encourage that, we'll, we could also share that chat window. So we, we could leave as much time as you want. Okay. Let's go to the next slide first. So from a, from a consumption perspective for the new releases and patches uh, for cloud applications, these are some of the areas. Uh, uh, or challenges from the consumption perspective. Uh, from a security perspective, uh, most of the cloud applications, uh, they are all asset-like, and there's less visibility to security, privacy, and performance. So from a security perspective, like uh, sometimes when there are new releases and patches, there's a scope for the roles being changed. So with our automation, we do testing of all that. And also from a performance perspective, certain per certain transactions performance may decrease, and uh, those are identified through automation testing. And with the adoption of cloud applications, uh, the microservices and APIs, uh, the, the consumption of uh, APIs has increased. Uh, integrating on-premise applications with cloud applications, integrating the cloud with uh, trading partners, suppliers, customers, and so on. And integrations testing is a key component uh, because um, any, any failure in integrations because of cloud application changes or changes on the other side of the applications, uh, let's say you have integrated HCM with the uh, ADP payroll. So any changes on the ADP side or on the HCM side. So that brings uh, data inconsistency uh, data corruption and so on. Uh, so it's very important that uh, the APIs integrations. Okay. And then the continuous delivery of cloud applications. Uh, unlike uh, the on-premise applications like e-business suite people soft, where uh, we could consume patches uh, at our own will uh, with cloud applications, that's not so. Uh, 
there is a continuous delivery, continuous upgrades, continuous consumption of new features, and so on. And the scheduled patch releases. So these are, as we all know, that the quarterly basis for some applications, monthly basis for some applications. So these are some of the uh, challenges uh, with cloud applications, consumption of cloud applications. And uh, with Cloud Test, we have addressed this, some of these challenges uh, from a testing, automated testing perspective, uh, integrations perspective, coverage perspective, and so on. Uh, next plan. So the integration challenges, most of the customers we have seen uh, with on-premise applications, they had very few integrations and within the systems, within their environment. But once they have adopted cloud applications, the integrations just exponentially multiplied. Uh, various types of integrations. So it could be Oracle uh, cloud integrations, which is Oracle integration cloud, or it could be MuleSoft, or just web services, REST APIs, and so on. And it's very important that uh, these integrations are tested, both from the perspective of whether they're working and also from the perspective of data consistency. Very important to test it from the data consistency because most of the failure implementations of BI systems is because of that. Duplication of data, inconsistent data, and that leads to uh, failure in uh, the BI systems. So cloud lot, system does lot, that test. And a lot of this uh, the duplication or the dirty, air, uh, dirty data, if you will, uh, often happens when the migration process happens. Let's say they went from some on-premise to, to a cloud environment. Uh, and as, as that migration happens, oftentimes that creates a lot of the data inconsistency as well, right? That has to be done correctly. Yes, that creates two. Okay. Okay. And integrations testing, manual testing of integrations, it's uh, quite uh, time uh, consuming and uh, it's uh, not uh, error-prone. So it's very important that uh, the integrations are tested uh, to automation. And the integrations, as I mentioned, uh, could be with, uh, within the Oracle applications or with external applications, partners, customers, suppliers, and so on, any type of integration. Next. <laughs> So some of the manual testing challenges, right? Uh, one is uh, as Oracle is uh, releasing new features at such a uh, frequent uh, pace, uh, quarterly and monthly, uh, the window which Oracle gives is uh, not that much. Uh, it uh, varies from two to three weeks, right? So testing in that uh, period, and making sure that all the resources are available, both from the business and from the IT. Uh, keeping aside of the regular work is quite uh, challenging. So that sh short window of manual testing. So what we have done with that is uh, uh, the automation enables to test. Uh, normally we complete the testing process uh, within three to five days after the, the patches or releases are applied or the upgrade is done into the test pod. So that leaves enough time for the customers to work on critical bugs, to work on alternatives with Oracle. And any, any solutions Oracle comes up with, uh, comes up with uh, in that uh, rest of the time period, uh, we do one more round of testing. So, so there's enough room to work on the alternatives and the critical bugs uh, with automation. And with... Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, um, you know, as you're covering some of that, uh, there's a question on the chat it says, do you support security role testing for custom security roles that have not yet been updated? Yes. Okay. Under uh, the security testing, what we do is uh, after every release, uh, we do, I'll come to that, but uh, we do support that. I'll come to that in a minute. Okay, great. Normally with manual testing, what happens is, uh, we are all dependent on the tribal knowledge of that particular business user or the IT person, uh, the knowledge he has gained through years of experience. And uh, it's 
person dependent. And then uh, not only that, manual testing. Uh, normally, uh, we tend to avoid uh, to test uh, the complete functionality. The test coverage, uh, test coverage is not 100%, whereas with automated testing, we built test cases for each function and every test case uh, is tested uh, when the new release, uh, during a new release. And uh, not only that, then testing these applications for different browsers, for different devices, and so on. That's another important testing. And with manual testing, it's quite impossible to test. We test for the functionality, but not test for different browsers and different devices. And with the man automated test cases, uh, the way it works is uh, we have a set of test libraries uh, for each product and for each module uh, within the product. And uh, these test libraries are standard. So we build, we automate uh, these test libraries for your environment. And as new releases come along, uh, Sunera Tech being a partner with Oracle uh, in various forms uh, with SaaS and Cloud Infra and so on. We get to know the new features of that release ahead of time. So we update our test libraries and we keep those test libraries ready uh, when your test pod uh, gets upgraded. So that, that's how we are, we are ahead of the no, well, cool. One of the uh, questions, one of the other questions came up, and I'll, and I'll let you go because we have uh, we're at the forty minute mark. Uh, talking about how do you test uh, client specific business processes? Is that you know obviously you don't have the, all the script for what the client is doing. Is there a way you handle that? No, the test libraries are not scripts. It's a set of test libraries saying that these are all the libraries we have. Now we take those libraries and automate uh, test cases for every customer. Every customer has their own specific test cases. These are not generic test cases. Hmm. Got it. Okay. Should I move uh, to the next slide? Let's go to the next one. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> so some of the benefits uh, of uh, automating the entire testing process, right? It's not just the functional and regression testing. It's uh, security testing, uh, it is integrations testing, and I'll come to payroll validation testing, which is another key feature. Uh, these are some of the benefits uh, of automated testing, completely reducing the time. Uh, like as I speak, we are automating testing for one of a large customer uh, with 29 countries, presence in 29 countries. They're using our automated test scripts uh, for their UAT. They're going live uh, on Janu in January, and they're using automated uh, test cases uh, for doing their uh, part of their SIT and for their UAT. So it's not only post go live, but we also help customers uh, during the go live process. Go ahead, Doug. Great. Next time we're going to get better logos so they don't pixelate. <laughs> okay, go on. So Cloud Tester uh, is an enterprise uh, testing platform. Uh, we offer uh, testing as a service using this platform, and I'll get to the demo in the next uh, two minutes. I'll quickly go through this slide, and then I'll get to the demo. Sure. So Cloud Tester is capable of testing cloud applications, uh, HCM, financials, uh, Salesforce, and so on. And then uh, on-premise applications, uh, like e-business suite, people soft, and so on, custom and web applications, mobile applications, and desktop applications. So if you look at the bottom, uh, the functional testing, uh, regression testing, the payroll data validation, which I will explain in a moment when I go to the demo part, uh, role-based access testing, the integration API testing, mobile testing. These are some of the, these are some of the testing areas uh, which we provide uh, as a service for the Oracle Cloud applications. And the performance testing, the way we test these uh, uh, test cases is, uh, it's not performance testing of the system as such, 
it is performance testing of a transaction. Let, let's say a certain transaction, like as simple as hiring an employee. Uh, it was taking about uh, three minutes earlier. Now during our testing process, it takes six minutes. Uh, we let customers know that this particular transaction is taking uh, much longer than what it used to take. So that's the kind of testing. It's kind of benchmark testing. So next slide. Yeah, the payroll validation tool file, I'll cover this during the demo in the interest of time. Uh, okay. So, okay. so let's, let's uh, skip this part so I'll have enough time. Uh, for yeah, so one, one thing you could, we had a question about the benefits of testing uh, as a service versus rolling their own and stuff. So you could cover that in the demo of why testing as a service is a sure. better approach. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, great. So I'm going to stop sharing and then you can share uh, your window uh, and then show us the. Thank you, sir. There you go. Okay, great. So all customers would have access to the portal, uh, the cloud tester portal. So there are two parts to it. Uh, the first part to the cloud tester portal is uh, the test cases. Uh, and the second part is a self-service portal, which is the payroll validation tool I was talking about. So uh, this part will provide this as a service, the functional testing, regression testing, security testing, and so on. But the payroll validation tool, uh, this tool for, custom, for customers who have Oracle payroll, uh, we provide, uh, this is a self-service tool, they can log into the system. So the way it works is, they could compare the payroll uh, before the patch and after the patch. So since there's uh, security to the data and all that, we have given access to the customers. So what they do is uh, they run the payroll register report and they upload the file uh, uh, before, uh, sorry, let me just go back. Uh, customers run the payroll uh, then execute the payroll uh, run report. And this is the payroll uh, register report the output. They upload this file. And then after, after the patches are applied or after the new release, they rerun the payroll and they take the extract of the payroll register report and upload the file. And then they set their tolerance levels for each of the payroll components. Okay, for standard earnings, I just want a tolerance of uh, uh, 0.1 percent. Or for imputed earnings, I just want to see things which are uh, greater or less than uh, 0 0.01. So they could set their tolerance levels for each of the payroll components, and then they can just export this into an email or email, and uh, they would see. Uh, what was the payroll uh, before the patch was applied or the release before the new release? And what was the payroll uh, after the new release? They could look at it at the summary level, uh, the gross pay at the summary level, what was the variance? And they could see at the component level, uh, the tax deductions, liabilities, and so on. And they could see also see at the employee level, employee ID. So for this module, uh, we provide access to the customers and they could do this on their own. Uh, going back to the functional testing. So you would have access to this portal. You could check, okay, what are the test cases I have in each of my applications or uh, HCM? Okay, these are my total test cases. These are in progress, at to start and so on. You could see all the statistics. And you could also see all the defect statistics. And these are by release. You could select your release here, uh, which release it. Let's say we are going with 18C. Uh, so if it is for a release, what are the number of test cases I have for this release? How many have been executed? And this gets updated dynamically between, uh, based on what we do. And then another good feature about this is you could click on that and then go to the screen 
and there's a lot of documentation you could download from here and i'll get to the documentation in a moment so when we create a test case the way we create a test case is we actually uh, perform that particular transaction uh, we test that particular transaction while we are actually testing it cloud tester captures uh, every everything we are doing every keystroke of ours and then at the end of that uh, testing of that particular function uh, it creates an automated test case and that automated test case can be reused any number of times so that's how cloud tester works uh, there is no scripting uh, there is no scripting it all does on its own so let's say this is a high hire an employee so what it does is i'm hiring an employee i'm logging into the system it captures every screenshot i have navigated through and at the end of uh, this particular test uh, it converts this into an automated test script so when i was talking about many of our customers use this as a documentation you could just uh, export into a pdf and use this as a documentation or a user training module uh for customers uh, for the business users who have joined the organization new or you are expanding their responsibilities uh, to more than what they currently have so it gives you a nice detailed description of what needs to be done and you could just upload this uh, into a pdf and provide them and all this gets created automatically while we are actually performing the testing it not only creates an automated test case but it also creates an automated documentation so when i was telling from the dashboards this is a documentation you could download for the entire module entire product for the particular test case and so on so this this is how a test case is built and uh, so what we do is uh, uh, for a customer uh i'll get to that later but uh, yeah then the run history as a complete detail of when test case was executed how long did it take and so on and this is what i was talking about the benchmarking the time of a particular transaction and uh, a particular transaction if it takes much longer than what it used to, usually took uh, that comes out in your uh, test execution report and it's quite detailed the test execution is quite details it captures every screenshot again uh, the execution also captures uh, whatever it is doing and it tells us uh, what has passed and what has failed at each stage and again this execution reports also could be just exported into a pdf and you could see that hmm. and all these customers we do provide access to the customer so this is the execution report so it is again capturing and it is telling us okay whether this has passed or failed and so on right uh, so, we have a quick question these can be also be scheduled too these test test cases right you can you can run them on a schedule plan them ahead okay. no normally we don't run them uh, one by one we just schedule them there's a complete scheduling functionality mm -hmm. uh, we schedule we create a release let's say 18c patch we create a release and then you see here schedule or uh, we schedule all the test cases got it in a particular time and time stamp yes yeah, that was a question and so, another question is does a customer create these test scripts or does cloud tester uh, create them do you create them we create them the cloud tester we create the test scripts as i said uh, we have a library of test cases if the customer has test cases manual test cases we would take them and automate them the customers do not have manual test cases we go by our library of test cases and uh, we then we identify during that process we identify if there is a delta between customer environment and our library of test cases and uh, we fill that data great um and then another so question another, another quick question is that um after all this testing does the cloud tester team support customers after go live or uh does your does the customer it support team take over are you guys there uh for 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 the for the extent of the relationship or do you just test and leave we do both 
some customers who have signed up only for testing engagement. We only identify the bugs and then the customer takes those bugs and work with Oracle teams. Uh, for some customers, we do provide functional support. And for that, then we also take the entire responsibility of working with Oracle, working through uh, the critical bugs and uh, any new uh, fixes or alternatives and all that. Got it. Can we go back to the slide? <coughs> sure. So if you want to release uh, your thing, and then I will share uh, the slides back here. Okay. I'll go to the next one, in just uh, yeah, interest of time. Okay. Maybe you could go over a couple of these cases. Yeah, this uh, Activision has been a uh, customer for the last uh, Three plus years. Uh, uh, they not only uh, we have been uh, testing uh, during the early stages of HCM. Same with uh, AJ Gallagher. Uh, we have been testing their HCM modules and payroll. Uh, let's go next. I just want to talk about the onboarding process. We only have five minutes. So the way it works is Cloud Tester is hosted on Oracle uh, Cloud. Uh, that's where the Oracle uh, Cloud applications are hosted. Uh, so the registering setup, uh, it takes an hour or so, and we are ready to start onboarding. So what we need from the customers is, uh, we will need uh, the login details, the URL and user ID. Uh, you would create a couple of users uh, at various levels, like the admin level or a particular uh, responsibility level so that uh, we could log in with that responsibility and uh, start creating test cases. So creation of test cases, uh, it, we started from day one. That's that's we called onboarding process or automating test cases. If a customer has a manual test cases, uh, uh, we take those manual test cases and start automating them. The customers do not have manual test cases. We go by our library of test cases and we automate them. And once they are automated, we execute them and the customer has to approve those test cases saying that these are all correct. Uh, that's the next step. And all that could be done from the cloud tester portal. Uh, customer just going through the test case and saying that, okay, this, this, this is right. And after that is approved, <coughs> so that test case uh, automation is complete. And that could be used for every release. And when, when something changes in the release, uh, we update the test case and we retire the old test case. So that, that's how the whole uh, entire cloud tester onboarding process and an ongoing maintenance and execution uh, works. Uh, so normally Oracle, when they upgrade the test pod, uh, we get communicated that the test pod is getting upgraded on so and so day. And we immediately start testing and uh, the entire testing is completed uh, irrespective of the number of modules uh, between three and five days. Right, so this gets to the heart of, of why testing as a service versus doing it yourself, right? And I mean, the cost, there's, you know, obviously there's cost differentials, but there are hidden costs when you do it yourself. And there are extreme, a lot of benefits when you do testing as a service. Can you kind of conclude with those two paradigms and why testing as a service is a better, better approach for uh, customers? Sure. So one reason why testing as a service is better is uh, from a test library's perspective, uh, from a coverage perspective, we have a better view of uh, working with Oracle, working with various customers. Uh, we make sure that you have complete coverage uh, of your applications. Uh, normally when customers do it, uh, they, they, they are limited. Uh, the way they look at is they have limited coverage, that's one. And uh, this is our bread and butter. So we are continuously upgrading uh, the new new test cases with the new releases. And uh, before, before uh, the new releases come, the test cases are upgraded and they're ready to be tested, uh, which is not possible with the customers. 
Great. So why don't you take a quick look at the questions that are popping up in the chat uh, while I tell people how to get in touch with us and you could jump in with any answers there, uh, Srikanth. So uh, folks, thanks. I uh, 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 hope you enjoyed the presentation. Srikanth is gonna take a quick look at your questions. So get them in um, as, as you can. As I said, we will also uh, uh, share the chat session um, afterwards with everyone uh, and we'll answer those questions in detail. So if we don't get to answer your questions on this call, we will get to them and share them with you. If you have any questions, uh, please contact Himadeep M uh, at himadeep.m at sonaratech.com. Uh, he is our cloud tester consultant and he'll be able to answer questions for you, schedule a demo, um, have you talk to some of our reference customers uh, and uh, share any other type of information that you want. You could also visit cloudtester.com. Himadeep's phone number is 773-654-4020. And I think uh, um, everybody will appreciate the, the demo. Uh, any, any questions pop out at you on the on the chat there, uh, Srikant, that you want to yes, ask? Yes, yes. So one question I have from Robert is, uh, so we don't create our own automated test cases. We need you to create them. That's correct. We create the automated test cases. We maintain them. We execute them. But you'll have access to the portal. You could check all what, what's going on. You could download all the documentation. And if you have payroll, uh, it's a self-service uh, payroll validation tool. Great. So we the are- Second question from Siddharth. Yep. Siddharth, okay. You want me to end, Fal? No, no, no. I was, I was just going to say we are at the top of the hour. Uh, some people may be dropping off, but I think we could carry on. Go ahead. Uh, just look through those questions, answer them. It'll be on the recording and we'll share it. But thank you all for uh, whoever came, whoever has to leave now. Really appreciate it and hope to hear from you soon. Okay, so we can carry on. Next question from Siddharth, the, the security testing, he would like to see the details. Yes, Siddharth, we can have a follow-up call and we can demo you how the security testing is done. Uh, Purva has a question, is Cloud Tester a separate portal? Uh, yes, it is separate portal. Uh, you would have to log into a separate portal. Uh, there are some funny questions from Arun. Uh, he's scared about the Activision games. Uh, <laughs> the horrible. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's all I have. Uh, okay. Where can we find the recording of this session? Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll send out a link to everyone who attended, and it'll also be on our YouTube page. In fact, there's a live broadcast now on our YouTube page. Uh, you could go there uh, next time we do with these. But yeah, we'll, we'll share those with everyone. Okay. I think, uh, yeah, some of the questions are quite generic. What we could do is uh, we could uh, send them separate emails, Val. Yeah, no, what I was going to do yeah. is I was going to take the chat sessions, um, answer all the questions, put it into an email, and share it with everyone so everyone could get the answers as well as the questions. So I think that'll be useful. It'll be like an FAQ, real-time FAQ <laughs> uh, for, yeah. from, from that. All right, great. Well, great. Uh, thank you, Srikant. Thank you, Dallas. Dallas, uh, you, are, uh, you did... Um, uh, uh, offer to answer questions as well. So if people have any questions for Dallas uh, at Vertex, go ahead and I'll leave the chat window open and, and uh, go ahead and send those in. You could also send uh, email to um, uh, cloudtester at sonaratech.com. Uh, and of course, you could also uh, send email to Himadeep uh, M. Uh, and then uh, we will uh, answer those questions. Um, so th this was great. Um, I, I apologize. Maybe I babbled on a little bit too too long. I cut you short there, uh, Srikant, but I think you did an excellent job uh, for going over all the all the various features and things. And I think it was very beneficial. Um, and um, uh, and we will answer a question. There's one more question about EBS uh, um, uh, there, Srikant. Do you want to kind of take that since we do have a EBS practice? Yes, uh, most of our customers, uh, they use the same uh, tool for testing their EBS application. And we do test EBS for uh, Vertex, uh, Vertex, which was on the call. And as you all know, yeah. Vertex, uh, yeah. Yeah. Dallas, do you want to jump in, say anything? Are you still online? Sure. Yeah, sure. So that was a, a major issue for us because of uh, lack of resources. We were taking every change or major change we could not do database upgrades and things of that nature without having everybody involved in testing, which was taking 10 weeks uh, for each test scenario. So we were packaging a lot of changes, maybe only doing changes once a year if possible, sometimes longer. So getting um, Sonaratech involved 
things like uh, you're, you can segregate work, such as our DBA can upgrade uh, databases in the non-production environments, run full tests, and then just show the results to the uh, customers. And from there, we can uh, perform upgrades and things of that nature. So we're not running at the last minute when Oracle's saying this is all de-supported. And we say, okay, we're forcing the company now to move to the next level. We could be a little more proactive. Very nice. Very nice. And are you guys planning on and expanding your cloud footprint? And when you do, would you be using um, Cloud Tester for, for all the other modules and applications that you guys are considering? Yes, right now, that's what our current plan is. All right, fantastic. All right, um, uh, Srikanth, anything else you'd like to say? No, that's all. Thanks everyone for attending. Hope uh, this helped and uh, always free, feel free to contact for any further information or if you would like to have one more demo. Great, excellent. Uh, and, and John, are you still there or have we lost you? Did you run off to something else? I'm still here. I've been listening carefully. It's been a really good presentation. Thank you guys. Okay, very good. And thank you, John. Uh, good luck with, the, with the, all the COE projects and good luck at Open World. We are going to be at Open World at booth 3101. And of course, Oracle, it's, it's Oracle show. There's a lot of Oracle stuff going on. But come by our booth. Uh, we'll be doing these types of presentations. We'll also be doing live demos um, of Cloud Tester. And so that's another thing that you can do. If you want to set up a meeting with us, I don't have the link here, but just go to scenaratech.com slash bookings forward slash bookings b-o-o-k-i-n-g-s uh, we have a, a kind of meeting booking tool there just go there pick a time if you want to speak to srikanth you could use his name drop down or speak to one of our consultants uh, and then set up a time but uh, but of course you could always uh, just come by as well we will be having and i will tell everybody on this call um, we will be having a kind of a happy hour get together on monday uh, at Open World, and we'll, um, I don't know how many of people are going, but we'll send that along as well. Um, so if you're at the show, come by uh, and have a drink on us. Uh, great. Well, thank you, everyone. This was a, a, a great event. We did go over time, but I think we were uh, very comprehensive. Uh, thank you for to all the speakers, to John and Dallas and to Srikanth, uh, and thank you all for attending, and uh, have a good day, and goodbye. Signing off. Thank you.